What's up guys, today I'm going to go through this Arduino Nano, the breakout shield that I bought with it, and first off I'm going to start off with the Arduino itself, which mine is a generic version that I picked up on eBay, uh, it comes with a mini B USB plug that uh, you can program it from, uh, there's also the uh, serial programming port at the top, and as you can see from the diagram we have the majority of the digital pins on one side and then you have uh, the analog on the other side along with uh, some 5 volt and 3.3 uh, pins as well. We've got a reset button in the middle and yeah it's pretty straightforward. It's quite small the actual uh, Arduino compared to the normal uh, Arduino Uno or the Mega and you've also got some LEDs on there with the uh, transmit, receive, power, and the onboard light as well. I'm not going to go through too much more on the Arduino itself, except for later on I'll show you a bit of the uh, programming side uh, because it's a generic version. But if we go across to the actual breakout board or the shield itself, this shield is quite similar to a previous video I did, uh, which was the sensor shield for the Mega. Uh, whereas in this case, what we have is a sets of pins, which you can see the analog ones are on this side, which uh, you have a ground, a voltage, and also your signal. Uh, and then on the other side, we have the majority of the digital ports and the pins uh, from zero all the way up to 13, a ground and an AREF. Now, they all line up to the pin slots where the actual... Uh, Arduino will plug into the board itself so all you would have to do is actually slot it over the top and then push it down in and you've basically then connected the two components together so once I gently push this in just be careful not to bend any pins um, basically it's all connected up now so you've got one side that goes across to there especially the analog and your digital on the other side you do have soldering points as well You've got your lights and your reset button that uh, is on not only the Nano but also on the board. And yeah, everything will break out to its respective uh, points. Now, we also have a ground and 3.3 rail section as well. So if you're using 3.3 volts, you can connect into there. Um, and then we've also got the uh, receive transmit for your clock and data points, uh, which is handy when you're daisy chaining certain sensors together or whatever you might be setting up. So on the back of the board you can kind of see where each of these pins where the actual Arduino is plugged in breaks off to each of those breakout pins. Now this makes it easier to obviously connect up to the Arduino but as you can see we've got the 5 volt rail, the ground rail which is all tied together and then each of those uh, signal pins will run off to each of them and the same on the digital side as well so you don't have to worry about wiring up the ground or from one gr uh, ground pin off the Arduino because you've got a whole rail there. So as for the connectors I use these same ones that I would use in the other projects now basically you can just make whatever setup you want they come in all different sizes Best one probably to use for some sensors are the 1x3. That way you've actually got your uh, active ground and then the signal wire. And once you add the pins into them, you can basically just pop them over each uh, one that you want to do. So if you want to use um, pin 0, clip it in like that. And then you've got uh, your voltage ground and signal. Now you could do it uh, also in the 2x3s which are a bit bigger, uh, they, they would obviously uh, need to make sure that you've got them the right way as well so that you don't plug the uh, ground into the signal and vice versa um, like you can see there. And that way you only need to do two of those connectors instead of doing six uh, as you go along uh, which you'll see in a second the cables can get a little bit messy so it might be more suitable to do a 2 by uh, 3 instead. So as you can see I've plugged in uh, some wires and you can see there that the four of them 
does take up a bit of room and it is a little messy so you just need to really set it up to suit whatever project you're working on and like I said you can solder to those other uh, holes on the sides of the board which is another option if you're not going to be taking that cable out at all. So when the USB is plugged in, you can see there that the power light is uh, lit up and you can also supply the power via the plug, which has its own built-in regulator as well, uh, if you're going to use that 12 volt supply. Now, one of the other things on that board as well, uh, while it's lit up, you can see that the power light on the actual breakout boards lit up as well at the same time. Uh, so it has uh, both lights uh, that go on. If you compare it to the other types of boards like a Mega or I've got an ESP32, um, very similar build. The hole spacings are the same, uh, so it makes it easier to jump between certain things. Uh, but it is a little bit smaller than the overall type of um, Arduino Uno, uh, which is quite handy. Last thing I just want to quickly jump into in the Arduino uh, programming tool. So when you open up the list of boards, if the Nano isn't in there, uh, basically you just go into the board manager. Once in there, I typed in Nano in the search bar and then you can see there the Arduino ARV boards. Uh, selected the uh, install of the right version and basically then it gives us all those extra boards that we can then select. Now with the processor uh, in this case I selected the uh, 328P. One of the main reasons is because when I actually purchased the board off eBay it actually specifically said to select that one. So if you're having issues uh, loading or posting your code onto the Arduino Nano potentially that's the problem is that you need to specifically choose the correct one based on the, the actual one you buy because they are a little bit different sometimes between whatever generic model you might pick up and likewise with the programmer uh, I've got selected Arduino as ISP now that's because when I purchased it same thing was in the details that I needed to select that one if you try and do it via the other uh, programmer options it potentially might not work but you can give it a try and also just uh, try a few different ones and see what happens and go from there so that's pretty much a run through of this Arduino Nano and the breakout shield let me know if you like the video uh, if you want to see more videos like this make sure to go check out that mega sensor shield as well that video is already uploaded to my channel. Now that's about it from me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.